Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Dev, aka The Unknown Variable here, back at you with another commentary. And surprise, surprise, Activision is back at it again with the nefarious business practices. Now this is old news at this point, but I'm sure anybody who watches my channel or has been following the Call of Duty news that has been happening recently, you would have heard of the Call of Duty Warzone Caldera shutdown and the fact that you would have to buy Modern Warfare 2019 multiplayer, Cold War multiplayer, or Vanguard multiplayer to access your skins that Activision stole from you by shutting down Warzone Caldera. And if you were a free to play Warzone 1 player, you can kiss all of those skins and cosmetics and bundles that you bought goodbye. Unless you were willing to shell out a whole ass $70 for the respective multiplayer titles. Now, I don't need to dive too deep into this entire situation because I've already stated this in a few videos already, but this is just to give you an idea as to where I'm going with this commentary. Anyway, so I wake up this morning and I have my morning coffee and I'm scrolling through Twitter. It's one of the first things I do in the morning, just trying to keep up with the news regarding Call of Duty, see if there's anything to make content on, etc. And I stumbled upon this first tweet here, which is just extremely nefarious, and it doesn't surprise me. At surface level, it doesn't look that bad. If you look at the video playing here, they added a July 4th, of course, Independence Day bundle to Call of Duty, and that in itself is not really surprising because they add tons of bundles to the shop every single day in this game, and it's a holiday, so there's always holiday-specific bundles. I'm not really surprised about that but what really gets me about this entire bundle is that if you look farther down here in the tweet thread prestigious key actually pointed out that the m4 variant that you get in this bundle looks eerily similar if not practically identical to the modern warfare 2019 bundle that many of players purchased four years ago during the pandemic back in 2019 now i can't be the only one sitting here thinking to myself what the actual fuck activision so you're telling me you're gonna shut down Warzone 1 Caldera and if there's somebody that's potentially watching this video that was a free-to-play Warzone player and you purchased this bundle back in the day you have two options here option a is to buy the bundle once more in Modern Warfare 2 get shafted and buy the exact same thing that you had in Modern Warfare 2019 or spend $70 and buy Modern Warfare 2019 Vanguard or Cold War so either way you're shelling out some cash whether you're deciding to buy the bundle again or spending some more money to get the old ass multiplayer player COD games at full price. Now I'd like to take this time to address some of the modern Call of Duty players that come to my comment section quite frequently and they always use the excuses like I don't understand why you bitch and complain about bundles because if you don't like it don't buy it or it's my money I could spend it however I want and yes I completely agree spend your money however you want if you have a full-time job part-time job whatever you have some form of income and you want to spend your money on recycled content knock yourself out. I don't think you're a terrible person for doing that I'm not against you I'm against active vision so please everybody that comes to the comment section and likes to use this logic i'm putting this portion of the video for you guys please keep the comments respectful because there's no point in sitting here and arguing and bickering and defending activision in the comment section for absolutely no reason when i'm not personally attacking you i'm personally attacking the nefarious business practices that activision uses in their games now this second tweet that i stumbled upon today was kind of funny or terrible depending on which side of the fence you're on me personally i have some dark humor so to me this was kind of funny and just shines some light on the utter incompetence that Activision displays on a daily basis. But I'll put the tweet up on screen right now. It says, for people asking where the Izanami bundle is, this is a new bundle that is releasing in Call of Duty. Everybody's excited for it. It's super colorful, you know, etc. Activision renamed the bundle to Izzy. If you want to know why, spell the name Izanami backwards. There is not a confirmed release date for the bundles, but rumors suggest next week. Now, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to be spelling Izanami backwards, but you could do it yourself. And I'll give you like a little moment here to do it and let it sink in. Just read it backwards. Yeah, Activision actually did that. So yeah, smart move, I suppose, uh, Activision renaming it to Izzy. But I really don't understand how a billion dollar company with a huge marketing budget, all of these people that they can hire, let something like this slip through the cracks. But to me, it's just, it's funny. It really is. It's funny. I have dark humor. I don't know what it is. It's just funny to me. And I don't think it's funny because of what it is backwards. I think it's funny because of the fact that the incompetence of Activision is on full display for everybody to see. And if you don't have Twitter, maybe this video is a little bit helpful 
helpful to you so I could shine some light on some of the people that are actually working here and the stuff that they do. It's just hilarious to me. But anyways, besides recycled content and very oddly named bundles that say specific things when you read them backwards, there's not really much else to talk about today. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the video, share this video with your friends, comment for the algorithm, subscribe, turn that notification bell on so you never miss when I upload a video, and I'll catch everybody in the next one.